Good day! Our topic today is about formulating and evaluating a good research title. To start, let us answer this question. Which of these is a research topic? Letter A, physical attraction. Letter B, psychology. If your answer is A, then you are definitely correct. If A is the answer, then B is an example of a research area. And again, A is a research topic. If I add this one, this could be what? This is an example of a research title. Let us compare the tree as to its definition. Research area is broader in scope. This is where a research topic is placed into. Research topic is a specific issue or theme under a research area. And a research title is a problem or hypothesis that summarizes the main idea of the study to be undertaken. This is derived from a research topic. In the previous slide, psychology is an example of a research area, while physical attraction is an example of a research topic. Psychology is a research area because it is a discipline and is broader in scope and general in form. While physical attraction is one of the topics that can be tackled under psychology, it is more specific than psychology. But what is more specific is a research title. If you are going to look at this example, it is an issue or a problem that needs to be addressed and answered under the topic physical attraction. Further, research area, research topic, and research title are totally related to each other. Look at the terms ideas and text inside the boxes. Which of these are related to each other and can be classified as a research area, research topic, and a title? Come to think. If your arrangements appear like this, then you are starting to learn the ideas of the three basic terms in research. The word e-commerce is a word that is bigger in scope in which social media and viral marketing could be a special topic. And the third reflects a research title under the research area, e-commerce, and a topic, social media and viral marketing. These are same as true with the second example, which starts from a bigger scope to a specific and to a more specific. I hope it is now clear the differences among the three terms research area, research topic, and research title. Okay, let us continue. Let us answer the second question. In which part of a published research paper served as basis of formulating a new research title? Is it in conclusion or in recommendation? The answer is recommendation. Conclusion answers the general aim or purpose of your study. Will the recommendation further studies are found? Look at this table. In the first column, we can see the title of the published research article and how it is cited. In this published article, Evans 2014 recommended three things for further study as reflected in the second column. In the slide, I highlighted important important things which I think I can use for another study of my interest. For example, we have compare strategies in rendering public involvement commitment. These text in red color are terms that can be used for for a future research paper. With this, I have come up with a new title, Strategies in Motivating Researchers for Public Involvement Commitment, a Comparative Study. For the second recommendation, I also do the same. I highlighted terms which are predictable or measurable and come up with a title. For example, Explore the Leadership Group, Collective Leadership Support Effective Public Involvement. Then the title I proposed is Leadership and Linkages Roles to an Effective Public Involvement in Research. With the two given examples, can you make a research title anchor to the third recommendation? You may arrive with varied answer, but what's important is you have anchored it with a research paper. For number three, 
we can say that this title works. The Economic Impact and Outcome of Public Involvement in Research It's nice to read things of your same interest and come up with a research title with basis than to think of a problem that are based on observations. Because in research, citing reference is important. Let us proceed to the third slide. Are there standards as to the number of words in a research title? Yes or none? Yes, there are standards as to the number of words in a research title. A good title for a research paper is typically around 10 to 12 words long according to Raha Gupalan 2019. From the website of Inago Academy 2019, it is between 5 to 15 words in length. Number of words may differ depending on the cited author. However, most lies between 5 to 15 words. I have here another question. Among the following titles, which of it or are good research title? Let us evaluate. Title 1 describes the topic and the method of the study but is not particularly catchy. Title 2 partly describes the topic but does not give any information about the method of the study. It could simply be a theoretical or opinion piece. Title 3 is somewhat catchier but gives almost no information at all the all the article. Title 4 begins with a catchy main title and is followed by a subtitle that gives information about the content and method of the study. But when do we say that our research title is good? Can we say that number 4 is our good research title? Because it is catchy and it followed subtitle that gives information about the content okay let us discuss characteristics of a good research title good research title is specific measurable attractive realistic and trendy or time bound for short it is smart clearly defined or identified able to quantify or qualify targets and benefits Catchy and interesting to the reader, represent familiar things in a way that it is accurate or true to life and it is up to date. Let us go back to the title we have evaluated a while ago. Let us start with number 3. Number 3 is attractive because of the word gurus, which brings interest to the readers. However, it did not meet other characteristic. Number 2 appears like a literature title. It is not specific because there are no specific variables that are intended to measure. Because of that, it is not also measurable. It is not realistic because it is not conclusive that nurses are best communicators, though the title may appear trendy. If we take a look, take a look at number 1, it is fewer in words. If we go back to the standards of the number of words according to Inago 2019, it is between 5 to 15 words. With that, number 1 could be a good research title. But, it is not attractive to the reader compared to number 4. The praises, Nurses on the Boob, appears interesting and might ask readers, why is it that Nurses on the Boob? Further, it qualifies the number of words since it has 14 words. Let's have an exercises. For number 1, given a two title, which is a smart title? Is it the title written in white text or the title in yellow text? For number 1, it is in yellow. Why? As you see, both are smart. However, in an experimental research title, we do not include the time interval. The time interval in white text is stated, the word and hour. How about number two? The title in white text is a smart title than those with yellow text. For the reason that it is more specific. Because of the word psychosocial effects. For number 3, it is definitely 
in white text because it is a big no-no for a title to be abbreviated. Abbreviation should not be included in a title. All words must be spelled out. Now, here's the summary of the process in writing or evaluating a good research title. Number one, ensure to identify your research area and research topic. Number two, research, read published research articles related to your research topic specifically on the recommendation portion. Number three, from the recommendations, create titles. And number four, evaluate all the proposed titles through SMART criteria. Here's another tips for writing a good research title based from Inago Academy. I think now you're ready to do the following task. Choose a research area of your discipline. Again, research area should be broader in scope. Number two, identify three research topics. Research topics, again, is under a research area. Number three, for each research topic, read a published article, specifically the recommendations. Again, it is nice that you have bases when you are making a title. And number four, make a tabular presentation of your proposed titles. Number five, check and evaluate your proposed titles as to the discussed standards. You can also use the checklist table presented in the previous slide. Thank you for listening and hope to subscribe on my next video for the topic, The Elements of a Good Research Introduction or Background of the Study.